Hey everyone, it's Star Sketch. Welcome back to a new video um, and podcast episode. Um, for those of you that don't know, I have a podcast here on my YouTube channel called Erin Talks, where I just kind of talk about anything that's kind of going on in my mind or things I discuss with my friends, anything like that. Um, I hope that you stick around and feel free to have me on in the background while you're cleaning or coloring or journaling or just vibing or whatever the case may be, whatever you're doing. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and let's just get right into the topic. So what made me kind of think of this topic was I actually went to my friends um, and was just like, I need some ideas. What should I talk about? And one of my friends, shout out to you, you know who you are, um, basically gave me this idea to talk about my self-esteem then versus now, like a few years ago at the start of like my mental health journey versus now. But I did like the idea, but then it sparked a new idea for me to talk about loneliness and how I have become content with myself, with my body, with who I am, and how I'm still learning and growing and changing into the person I'd like to be. So um, just to give you guys some background, if you haven't listened to my podcast before, or if you have, I'm just going to give a quick little recap of basically what I mean by then. So about five or six years ago, during the start of my um, mental health recovery, this was more like six or seven years ago, actually, um, before I even thought about working on my mental health or anything like that, before that even came into my life, I was desperately obsessed with being somebody that other people would like and being friends with them and creating a huge friend circle. I'm not quite sure why in my head I wanted that. I think what boils down to it is that I had low self-esteem and that I basically just wanted attention from people. Attention of any sort, whether it was friendship, romantic, anything. Like I just was accepting of everyone and everything and I would change my personality based on the person I was talking to. Which in and of itself, if you guys have seen like, it's like for example the show Catfish where a lot of the people that catfish uh, have low self-esteem because they're not okay with the person that they are. And that was kind of the case with me of just, I wasn't okay with who I was. I felt like I would be judged for the things I liked. And I just decided to be this person I wasn't to impress other people to be my friend. And that is not the person of who I was back in the day. I would just try to be this sociable person who was into different things that I really wasn't and I would like pretend to like it like for example I just my earliest memory of this was I pretended to like anime which I do like certain anime like Death Note I've so I've watched but I would pretend to like all sorts of different shows that I really had no idea about and the only reason why I was obsessing over these things was because I thought that I would get the people I wanted to be friends with to like me. Not like me for who I am, but like me for who they wanted me to be. And that's not how you should live life at all. Because at the end of the day, I don't talk to those people anymore that I associated myself with back then. Um, like maybe like one of them, but like honestly, 99% of them, I don't talk to them and I don't associate with them or anything. And I've kind of learned because of the fact that after my episode, I'll call it, because I have talked about it here on the podcast before, so feel free to go rewatch those episodes if you're wondering what I'm talking about. Um, it's called My Mental Health Journey. Um, after that happened, I was off social media for about a year and a half, and it took a lot to kind of be content with my own self and you know obviously I was surrounded by family but a lot of the times I would be by myself in my room or you know if I wasn't doing that I was with my nieces but for the most part I would just be alone and I wouldn't really have those connections of 
friends or anything and no social media or anything like that. And I'm not saying in order for you to do this, you have to be off social media or anything. I will talk about later in the episode how you can kind of practice this yourself. But I had to learn the hard way because I had mess I made a mistake in my life um, and I needed help. And in order for me to receive that help, I had to take a social media break, if that makes sense. So, um, and for my safety as well. Um, so with all that being said, I resorted to creating artwork. I resorted to journaling. I resorted to, I could still watch YouTube um, on the TV um, at my sister's house because I would go and hang out with my nieces because my mom was kind of their nanny Grammy, I guess you could say. And I would go there and literally watch hours of YouTube most of the time in the background if like the girls were asleep or something. My mom would just let me kind of watch whatever. Sometimes we would watch what she would watch but she would kind of dedicate me a time like an hour or two to just kind of sit there and watch stuff um, to learn more tools and such. And I would sit there, color or uh, art journal or just to write notes or something um, and I learned a lot from that. And it was a difficult time for me to be off social media because I did kind of sneak a tablet. I did try to get in contact with people. The only communication I really had was me and my friend Chris, uh, Gamer Boy Badoof, here on YouTube. Um, and I would write out letters to each other via email. Um, he was like my only friend at the time that I kind of communicated with, and he was kind of like, uh, Besides, obviously, my family, just an outsider support system. And um, we're still friends to this day, um, which is awesome. But the thing is, is that it was really hard because there would be times where I wanted to, like, watch his stream, but I couldn't because I was putting my mental health first. So I would tell him, like, sorry, I'm not able to get to your streams and such, but I do miss them and stuff like that and all this, all this stuff. So... It took a lot for me to be okay in my own company and be okay with the fact that I was not alone. Obviously, I had my mom and my dad and my family by my side, but at the same time, a lot of the hard work I did came from me. I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for my own strength. And I'm saying this right now because I watched a tarot reading this morning and it was telling me kind of that I don't give myself enough credit for how much work I've done to not only help myself but also help others aka this YouTube channel and I'm just taking a moment to be grateful that I did that and be grateful that I have and know that I have the willpower to change my life for the better and I'm continuing to do that every single day. Now that I'm back on social media now since god I think the first video I put out was in 2018 2019 here on this ch uh, channel I did delete lots of the videos I posted from 2018 to 2020 2021 I just you know I wasn't ready it was just that time um but enough with the you know why I deleted certain videos but it was just you know different obviously I did make my mistakes so I did reach out to people I used to talk to. Obviously that didn't work out because, you know, I'm a different person now. They didn't really accept that now I'm this version of me, of truly me, and they didn't want to accept that. And that and, and it hurt me. It did hurt me. But I realized there are better people out there that will be your friend, that will see you for who you really are. And through trials and tribulations and through a lot of hard work, I managed to now have a small group of people that I could really just go to for anything. Um, and even my boyfriend's a big support in that. Um, I, my be parents are my best friends, and I couldn't be more grateful for all of that. But to go reel back in what we're talking about was loneliness. Obviously, it's great that I have all these people in my life. However, during the day, like today, is Tuesday at 2.15 in the afternoon. Everyone is gone in the house. Everyone that lives with me has a job. Well, sometimes they work from home, but most of the time, I would say three out of four, three or four out of the days of the week, I am here alone. And I do things alone. And I've learned a lot from that. 
especially when I, you know, started to do all this. Um, I'm in the process of making changes in my life, like going back to school and uh, getting a job and such. But currently, and how it has been for the last like three or four years, uh, ba basically since COVID happened, honestly, I've been just here doing my thing. And I'm going to tell you how I managed to, you know, still maintain boundaries when it comes to my friendships online or uh, friendships at IRL. Um, I also, you know, really, I do love myself. I do. And there are moments that me and my boyfriend, like, I'll tell him, oh, I feel so ugly and stuff. I'm, I'm doing my hardest to get rid of that. So I'm not saying that I'm like 100% perfect right now because I still have a lot to work on. But I'm going to tell you some tips that I have learned from being alone during the days and how I'm content with myself and happy with the person that I am. So let's get started. So the first things first that I really recommend to you if you're trying to connect more with yourself be more happy with the life that you live is to give yourself credit where credit is due and that's what I did in this video was to tell myself I have done the work I've done all this work I you know I work on myself constantly maybe you don't work on yourself constantly so maybe that's the first step is to improve yourself and get into self-improvement but I already went through that step but if you have it already definitely go the self-improvement route and do your research, learn how to love yourself, do the journaling, do the hard work, and then these are the steps that you can do. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just give yourself where credit is due, you know, like you made it this far, you've survived a lot. I know for personally, I've survived a lot, and I wouldn't be without, I wouldn't be here without my determination and my hard work and wanting to change. And that's the first things first is that you should want to change your life for the better uh, if you're not happy with the life that you're living. So after, you know, first things first, make sure you're, you know, happy with your life. Do the work, do the self-improvement, um, the journaling, the all of that. If you guys want me to go into more details about this on how you can do this uh, with journaling and shadow work, stuff like that, let me know and I can make it a series or something. Um, if you're looking to do that this year to really work on yourself, but if not, that's okay too. Just let me know in the comments. Um, but that's the first thing first, obviously after you do the self-improvement work to give yourself where credit is due. Second thing to kind of be content with yourself is to basically compliment yourself. I know how cheesy this sounds. You might, you might be rolling your eyes right now. Like, Erin, what are you talking about complimenting myself? I'm, I'm not going to act like a crazy person and constantly talk to myself. This could be done in your head. This could be done in front of a mirror. Again, I'm home alone during most days, so I can do this out loud. Um, but you essentially just stand in front of the mirror, or me, I'm looking at myself in the camera, and I compliment myself as if a friend or my boyfriend is complimenting me. So for example, looking at myself right now, I think my hair looks really awesome. I think it looks really beautiful. And looking at my eyes, I think they're really bright and blue. I mean, I'm a little, you know, squinty because I'm, you know, chill, as my shirt says, <laughs> if you get if you get what I'm saying. Um, and yeah, I just think that I look really good today because I showered and I took care of myself and, you know, now I'm dressed and ready to go for the day and I did a lot today. <laughs> I'm proud of myself for that. Um, my smile looks great. I even, you know, because I brush my teeth, I don't look like a freaking, you know, someone I that doesn't take care of themselves. So I just enjoy the fact that I can take care of myself and that I can step up to the plate and get what I need to get done. So be sure to stay in front of the mirror and just kind of compliment yourself. Also be sure to, you know, Definitely hygiene is important and don't make it feel like a chore. Like hygiene should be something that you should look forward to to make yourself feel pretty or beautiful or more yourself. Because the more you take care of yourself and keep yourself in check, the better you're going to feel about yourself and the better, you know, 
the people around you are going to see, oh my gosh, that she's like glowing. She's glowing up. And I've gotten so many compliments about that. And, um, I know I am. <laughs> my life has definitely turned 360 since about, you know, six or seven years ago. So I'm very proud of myself for that. But those are some good tips to do, especially, you know, if you've been in my kind of situation of going through a mental health journey or anything like that, um, that is something to definitely do. Also to be content with yourself alone, do the things that you love doing <laughs> when you're alone, AKA your favorite hobbies. So for me, I always make sure that I get my art stuff done. I am gaming or I'm you know, cleaning or something, because those are definitely things that I like to do. And I know not everyone's into cleaning. I know not everyone's into journaling or doing art, but that's things that I really enjoy doing. I also really enjoy smoking, 420. I know not everyone's into that, but I am, and that's what makes me me. So just kind of do the things that make you you and be proud of that. Flaunt that. When you're on social media, post about those things and you'll see the people will come to you knowing I want to not be that person but I want to associate with that person because she's freaking awesome and I know a lot of you subscribe to me for that so I want to thank you for that I think that I'm freaking awesome too and I think that you're freaking awesome um but yeah just do the things that you love doing by yourself kind of have you know have it be time you time me time is not a bad thing you taking time for yourself is not at all a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing. But I did want to point out in this video, because a lot on social media has been kind of highlighting this, of, you know, the romanticizing, staying in your room, and not connecting with other people. I've seen that a lot on the internet lately. And as much as, me, as alone time is great, it's all about balance with everything. So be sure you're not only taking the time for yourself, but also get yourself out there. I know for me, especially living in the Northeast of North America, it is cold as hell outside. <laughs> and it's currently snowing outside as I'm looking out the window. And it is not very motivating to get out. However, with having a boyfriend, it has been very helpful <laughs> to kind of get out and about. And you don't even need a boyfriend to go out and about. Link up with your friends. Ask your family if they want to go out somewhere. It's okay to, you know, use your family as like your friend circle because at the end of the day, you got you, yourself, and whoever is in your little circle. So why not take the time to be with them? But at the same time, don't push people away because you want to be alone. I know that doesn't really make sense. Let me explain. So what I mean is, say if somebody does ask you to make plans over the weekend, don't be like, no, I'm not going to go out, I'm working on me, blah, 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 and all this. Balance it. Have a few days where you do work on yourself, like three or four days of the week. Have that alone time. But have the rest of the week, those two to three, three to four days or whatever, two to three days. I can't do math. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though, to hang out with people. Because it's good to get yourself out there, especially during the time that you're trying to love yourself and being content with your own self when you're alone. Because then, after you do that alone time, you can go tell your friends and family what you did, what you learned, the things that you're working on, and get other perspectives. That was super critical for me during my alone time was getting other people's perspectives on things, especially with my mental health team and telling them what I do during the day. Then they would suggest to me, oh, since school maybe not is suited for you, use YouTube to learn things. That was a good advice, because now I love YouTube. <laughs> I've loved YouTube for the longest time, but in terms of learning new things, I definitely utilize YouTube for a lot of different things, music, you know, learning things, entertainment, etc. So YouTube is like my world. Uh, it's probably my favorite social media platform slash, you know, streaming source. So it has everything in one. Um, but yeah, YouTube helped out a lot too, talking about YouTube. There's a lot of videos out there 
on different topics like shadow work, like loving yourself, like being content with being alone, with things you can do alone, to cozy hobbies that you can do now so then when summer comes you can be like outside and living your life, you know? And I can, again, do a whole series on this here on the podcast or as regular videos of just talking about how you know you can work on yourself but also balance in that social aspect um but again youtube is a great source for other creators besides myself that work on this because there's so many of us that have been in your shoes of feeling lonely and feeling like you're not good enough and your self-esteem is low there's so many resources out there now especially with the internet so utilize the internet as a resource to help get your life together because there's so many free resources out there to help you get where you need to be and my last and final thoughts on this when it comes to being content with yourself alone is at the end of the day all you have is you yourself and i kind of reminds me of the song um me myself and i by g easy it's just me, myself, and I, and I'm gonna ride until I die. AKA, be your own best friend. At the end of the day, not everyone's gonna like you. Not everyone's going to appreciate you or see how special you are. But you and yourself only should be your own best friend. Because at the end of the day, sometimes all you have is yourself. You don't know what life is gonna bring. You don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. You don't know what the next hour is going to bring. So hating yourself, not liking when you're alone, it's just a waste of time. Be your own best friend. Love the music that you love. Love the time that you spend by yourself. You know, just love and appreciate everything that you are because at the end of the day, you rest your head on your bed most of the time by yourself unless you live with somebody or you know sleep in the same bed with somebody but in that case you're also still laying on the bed yourself they're not physically laying on the bed like you putting you laying down it, do you get what i'm saying i hope that you do just know at the end of the day that you are beautiful you are strong you are capable of anything okay that you put your mind to and that includes myself and I'm putting that out there because I need to remind myself of that. <laughs> but that is going to be today's episode, our little discussion today. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. And let me know your thoughts on when it comes to alone time or me time. Do you often feel lonely about it? Or do you feel alone? Or do you actually enjoy it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, also let me know some other Erin talk, Talks ideas that you guys would like me to do. I'm going to do these about once a month. So for February, it's all about self-love and love in general. So if you want me to continue on with the topic of self-love, I can definitely do that for next month's episode. But let me know in the comments. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys. I'm gonna tell you, 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 I'm gonna tell you,